welcome to the Cinnabar. Now the air's a little crisp this morning, and if you look over my shoulder up here, you'll see that the quaking aspens are starting to turn color. That means one thing, it's fall of the year here on the ranch, my favorite time of year. And it's a pretty special morning this morning because it's opening morning of deer season. Now the sun's about to come up over the Coglins over there, so we're going to have to get up the hill and get started here shortly. But if you saw my last episode, we had to make a decision about uh, which rifle we're going to use for hunting season this year. And we settled on this 1895 Deluxe Pistol Grip Flat Side in 3040 Craig. And it shot really well on paper, so I'm looking forward to uh, maybe trying it out here in the real world environment. Now we're not going to be doing anything real fancy today. We're going to hunt just the way they did 100 to 125 years ago. We'll just have an open-sided old rifle and a, a pair of field glasses. No fancy electronics or any of that kind of stuff. So uh, if that kind of thing appeals to you, stick around. This ought to be kind of a fun, interesting episode. Now if you look at this country, you can kind of see that it's not real common to have um, shots that are within open sight range so we're not trophy hunting today if we see a decent venison buck we're probably going to do a little shooting and it's been a hot dry summer and they're in a whole lot of water up on the hill so i'm kind of hoping they're concentrated down here a little further where where we do have a little water for them um, so i got high hopes that we're going to have a a good day today so stick around this ought to be fun well as we make our way up the hill here we're glassing over some pretty good country. We've passed by a, a couple of does and one just little buck and one coyote that seemed to know that we weren't out coyote hunting this morning. But we'll keep working up the hill and, and uh, see if we can't run into something a little more interesting. Well, as we work our way up the hill, we're seeing some beautiful country. We've had a lot of success hunting right in this spot right here, taking several nice bucks out of here. If you look up on the uh, opposite hillside up there, well, I'd say 10, 12 years ago, the wife and I got matching three points, almost twins, up on the side of that hill. And as I was blood trailing the, the one that I had shot, I come across about a three inch obsidian spear point right in the blood trail. I was so focused on the Spear point, uh, when I looked up, I was within about five feet of that old buck. Well, we'll keep working our way up the hill and see if we can't find something to, to shoot at. Right up through those trees, there's a little group of deer. Probably can't see them through, through the camera here. They're far enough off, but we're going to let them work over that ridge there. There's a pretty nice little three point in the group there, so we'll let them... Uh, Work over the ridge a little bit and then we'll sneak up and see if we can't uh, catch him, catch up to him from behind. Okay, we're sneaking up on that ridge where we just saw those deer go over. See if we can't get within shooting range of this three point.
one just ran right over the ridge right next to me and old doe. He's out there at about 200 yards. A little further than I want to try to poke with this open sight. Here he's, he's making his way back this way. Here he comes kind of on a run. Another one just went by me over here on the ridge. We're going to wait him out and see what he does. Everything else is coming this way. He just turned broadside. Front feed pretty well covers him up when he's looking at me. There he's making his way this way a little better. I believe he's hit. Right over him. There he's hit for sure. He'll be going down shortly. I can see the blood pumping out of him. I hit him a little too far back. Okay, so he's he's down in that hole. Let's go see if we can't find him. That was a fair poke for open sights for this old feller. Okay, so I was shooting from that opposite ridge up there where the you can see a few of the trees there on that ridge. And the last time I saw him, he was he heading around down here and right down into this little basin below us. And last I saw him, he was over in that kind of bushy area over on the other side. So we picked up his blood trail here. You can probably see there's there's some blood right here on the grass. So we're going to follow it down. See if we can't run into him. Here's some more blood right here on these leaves right here. And here's some right here. And right in here on that grass. Let's see where we go from here. Looks like 
right down through this area oh i see a bunch of blood down here so he was really pumping it out right through here and right up through here and that's kind of where i lost him was right up in here somewhere and he's lots of blood here he's making a heck of a oh there i can see through the bushes some steam coming up and there he lays he's not a he's not a big old buck by any means but he'll be a heck of a good eater looks like he's a fork on the one side now i thought through the binoculars he looked like a three but he's actually got a little force point there and even a little eye guard so he'll he'll be a heck of a good little venison buck Well, I didn't hit it on the first shot. I had to range it a little bit. Pretty happy with being able to take this deer down with this 124-year-old deluxe flat side 1895 rifle. <laughs> Doesn't get much better than that. Heck, it's only 8.30 on opening morning. My season's over. And we got some great venison for the freezer. So it's been a, a great morning already. Until next time, happy trails from the Cinnabar.